Meghan and Harry's Ukraine statement slammed as dangerous breach of protocol. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry showed their support to the people of Ukraine following the attacks by Russia, but some royal fans questioning them breaking protocol by not staying neutral. Royal fans have questioned Prince Harry and Meghan Markle over a breach of royal protocol after the couple spoke out about the attacks in Ukraine. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex put out a statement last night on the website of their organization, Archual, giving their support to the people of Ukraine. They called on the global community and its leaders to join them in condemning Russia, whose actions they said was a breach of international and humanitarian law. Russian President Vladimir Putin launched attacks on Ukraine in the early hours of Thursday morning, resulting in a number of deaths and destruction across the country. The ongoing invasion of Russian forces prompted Harry and Meghan to speak out about the situation. The message from the couple said, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and all of us at Archul stand with the people of Ukraine against this breach of international and humanitarian law and encourage the global community and its leaders to do the same. However, some royal fans have raised questions about Harry and Meghan speaking out rather than remaining neutral like most members of the royal family despite them no longer being working royals and therefore no longer having to follow protocols. One Twitter user said, Isn't this against the royal protocol, they have to be seen neutral after all his is still a prince. While another commented, If they choose to comment on political issues, they should return his title given to him by the British Queen. By making a statement as the Duke and she by affiliation, they represent themselves as an extension of the BRF. That is irresponsible and dangerous. Other users said that Harry and Meghan were jumping on bandwagon, sick, but a number of fans were pleased to see them show support for Ukraine. A user said, speaking out when there is need to, against any form of injustice, oppression and discrimination exemplify responsibility, courage, humanity and leadership. The DDoS have never shied away from, but consistently displayed this. They are exemplary. Ukrainian forces battled Russian troops on three sides of the country on Thursday after Moscow unleashed the biggest attack on a European state since World War II. Prince Harry's lawsuits won't stop the British media, even if he wins. Prince Harry has launched another lawsuit against the Mail. But if his aim is to make outlets more cautious, he may be underestimating their hunger for headlines about him. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are so valuable to the business model and circulation of the British tabloids that the outlets won't stop writing about and attacking them. Despite the couple's increasing willingness to resort to lawsuits, which they have a habit of winning, in an attempt to silence their critics, industry insiders have told the Daily Beast the tabloids are more likely to react by doubling down on their aggressive coverage. On Wednesday, Harry fired off the latest threat from his Californian home, suing their old enemy, Associated Newspapers Limited, ANL, the publishers of the Mail on Sunday, for libel. Although Harry's team have declined to say what the case is about, the Daily Beast was told by sources that the action was connected to a story that appeared in last week's Mail on Sunday which accused Harry of trying to keep secret his legal action against the British government, and issuing a misleading account of events when he said, in a press release, that he would pay for that protection himself. ANL have declined to comment beyond confirming Harry has filed a suit against them, but the Daily Beast understands they are confident about their story. A skeptical observer